we will going to discuss about the basics of quantization and uh, the type of the quantization because quantization is a very important steps in the pulse code modulation but but before seeing the actual quantization and its type we just take a review of the basic element of the pcm in the basic element of the pcm the source of the continuous time message signal which is given the input of the low pass filter which is sample quantizer encoder and then the pcm signal is applied to the input then whatever the distorted pcm signal is produced at a channel which is given to the regenerative repeater and after it will be put on the channel then a regenerative repeater the regenerated pcm signal is applied to the receiver then final channel output is given to the regenerative circuit decoder a reconstruction filter and the destination but today's uh, video we understand about that the quantizer quantizer is the very important steps in the digital communication system rather than the pulse code modulation system quantization is a nothing but it is the approximation of the signal and in case of the approximation of the signal whatever the signal is coming from the sampler side which is the round up and after the round up there is a one predefined a voltage level we want to get here we want to achieve it and that is able to convert it into the bi binary data stream okay then in the pcm system the masses signal is represented in the form of the coded pulses by representing in the discrete time and discrete amplitude uh, this is the binary data that is the 0101001001 then this is the bit duration this is the bit duration that is the tb then sampling is done with the train of the narrow rectangular pulses to ensure the perfect reconstruction of the message at the receiver and sampling rate should be satisfy the request rate then what is the meaning of the request rate request rate is a sampling frequency is twice that of the modulating frequency it is also called as a sampling theorem also then low pass filter which act as a anti aliasing filter yes absolutely correct because there is a aliasing of the two signal and once the portion is aliasing to uh, generated the error or noise is generated and which is used at the front end of the sampler which removes the frequency greater than the w hertz a signal after the sampling discrete in time then quantization in case of the quantization the conversion of the analog sample into the digital form is called as the quantization process from this figure we have understand that uh, to here is the input and here is the output and from that input and output there is a to increase the size of train of the pulses increase the size of the train of the pulses and this is the transfer characteristics of the quantizing process and uh, this is a staircase appearance means just like the staircase it will be appearance about that then amplitude quantizing the basically the amplitude quantizing is that it is the mapping samples of the continuous amplitude waveform to the finite set of the amplitudes once we have to be able to observe from this figure where input data and your output data input signal and the output signal the transfer characteristics of the quantizing process should be going to be increases in case of the staircase appearance then quantizer basically the quantization is a classified into the two types uh, first is the uniform quantization and second is the non uniform quantization in case of the uniform quantization the its constant step size means its step size is a constant means in case of the transfer characteristics we seen here the transfer characteristics whatever the step size this step size is a constant in case of the uniform quantization and in case of the non uniform quantization the quantization step is a not a constant okay means it will be varying according to the input information bearing signal then in case of the uniform quantization the uniform quantization is again subdivided into the two parts which is called as the 
mid trade quantization and mid riser quantization means once two amplitude should be considered which is called as the mid riser and in case of the time duration uh, your step size should be changes with respect to the time duration on x axis which is called as the mid trade type of the quantization and in case of the uh, non uniform quantization that is the a law and mu, mu law in case of the a law and uh, mu law it is a uh, uh, basically uh, it uh, depends upon the compounding means compounding technique or it best uh, depends upon the basics of the compounding in compounding is nothing but the compression of the signal at the input side and expansion of the signal at the output side which is called as the compounding then the example of the construction of the pcm sequence see uh, here is the code number is a given starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 7 in quantization levels is a given here that is the uh, minus 3.5 minus 2.5 minus 1.5 minus 0.5 0.5 1.5 2.5 3.5 in this way and whatever the natural sample value in case of the natural sample value the amplitude level is 1.3 3.6 uh, 2.3 0.7 -0.7 -2.4 and -3.4 then quantized sample value 1.3 is a treated as a 1.5 3.6 is a treated as a 3.5 2.3 is a treated as a 2.5 0.7 is a considered as a 0.5 and -0.7 is a considered as a minus 0.5 minus 2.4 is a considered as a minus 2.5 and minus 3.4 is a considered as a minus 3.5 now whatever the code number is a given it, it is starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 from minus 3.5 to plus 3.5 means your quantization level should be changes from Minus 3.5 to plus 3.5. Let we move. Uh, minus 3.5 means your quantization sample value is minus 3.5, but it is considered as a code number is a zero. Means here, this is the zero, and your code number is a zero. Means it is treated as a PCM sequence about that. That is zero zero zero. Then after that. Minus 2.5 is considered as a one. Then it is the zero zero one. Then minus 0.5. This is the minus 0.5 is considered as a three. Therefore, it is zero one one. Then plus 0.5. Here is the plus 0.5. It is treated as a code four. Therefore, 0.5. Its code number is a four. PCM sequence is treated as one zero zero. Then after that six. In case of the six, there is a two point five. The code number is a six. Its value is one one zero. Then here is the three point five plus three point five. Its code number is treated as a seven. Therefore, three point five. Its code number is a seven. Then PCM sequence is one one one. Then after that plus one point five plus one point five its code number is a treated as a five therefore here is a one zero one means whatever the natural sample value which is to be quantized and uh, it given the specified code number and then it will be converted into the PCM sequence in this way the construction of the PCM sequence we want to get here then PCM transmitter at the transmitting end. there is a bandpass filter sampling quantization and coding these are the four important steps about that the this is the pulse amplitude signal then quantizing then coding and then we want to getting the final uh, result uh, from the pcm then what is the meaning of the quantization process in case of the quantization process the peak to peak range of the input is a subdivided into the finite set of the decision levels as a decision threshold means in previous example here we understand that actually natural sample value is 1.3 but 
the calculated value is a 1.4 according to that the pcm sequence is generated 101 because its code number is a 5 here is a 3.6 we approximated as round down round up or round down here is the round down therefore it is a treated as a 3.5 in this way we have to be quantized the specific values about that and to getting its decision means how much the voltage to be taken into consideration as a decision threshold then output is assigned the discrete value from a finite set of the representation level or the reconstruction values also then uh, basically in case of the uniform quantization uniform quantization means its step size is constant and it is categorized into the mid trade type and mid rise type of the quantization so now here see the mid trade type the decision levels are located at plus minus delta upon 2 plus minus 3 delta upon 2 and the representation levels are located at uh, plus delta plus 2 delta plus 3 delta in the step size means it is uh, located on the x axis and it is located on the y axis and here is the mid trade type of the quantization then in case of the here is the decision levels are located on the y axis hence it is the mid and representation levels are located on the x axis in case of the mid mid riser type just opposite case of the mid trade type decision levels are located at plus minus delta plus minus 2 delta plus minus 3 delta in this way and the representation levels are located on the plus minus delta by 2 plus minus 3 delta by 2 and where delta is the step size then overload levels is defined as the absolute value which is the one half of the peak to peak range of the input sample values so here in case of the quantization process the number of the representation levels is equal to the twice the absolute value of the overload levels is divided by the step size so its length should be calculated with the help of this equation there is a 2x max upon delta when the quantization process discrete output for the sample or the quantization error occurs which is the difference between the input and output value of the quantizer then see here is the mid trade quantizer characteristics in case of the mid trade mid trade type of the quantization characteristics just like delta by 2 3 delta by 2 uh, 5 delta by 2 and uh, 7 delta by 2 these are the decision levels and its amplitude should be delta 2 delta 3 delta in this way so here the peak to peak execution should be obtained uh, from minus delta by 2 to plus delta by 2 in this way means the quantization error will be starting from minus delta by 2 to plus delta by 2 and here is the transfer uh, transfer characteristics of the quantizer of the mid trade type means see here in case of the mid trade type the plus minus delta by 2 plus minus 3 delta by 2 these all are the representation levels decision levels and the representation levels is located on plus minus delta plus minus 2 delta in this way means these are the decision levels and representation levels representation levels means the representation levels is this this is the representation levels and these are the decision levels then in case of the mid riser type of the quantization in case of the mid riser type of the quantization just opposite case the here is the transfer characteristics here is the overload level these are the decision levels means here plus delta by 2 minus minus delta by 2 2 delta by 2 means this will be it will be able to rise having the step size is delta but in previous case what we seen here 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 is again the decision levels having trade is delta by 2 minus minus delta by 2 2 delta by 2 2 2 gets cancel again here step size is delta is constant then 
encoding to make the uh, to make the transmitted signal more robust to the noise interference to make suitable for the transmission over the given channel then encoding process translate the discrete set of the sample values to the more appropriate from the signal is called as the code word so the presence or absence of the pulses is called as the symbol and the binary symbol one is represented by the pulse is a constant of the amplitude and zero is represented by switching of the pulses we know that then here is to show the electrical representation of the binary data then re regeneration the regeneration should be getting from the distorted pcm wave which is applied to the amplifier equalizer and here is to decision making either uh, pulses is logic 1 or logic 0 with the respect to the timing circuit and to regenerated pcm wave here is the regeneration then channel noise and error probability uh, the channel noise introduces the bit error into the received signal and in the pcm bit error causes the symbol 1 to mistake from 0 if the bit error is more then receiver output become dissimilar compared to the original master signal and the fidelity of the transmission by pcm uh, in the presence of the channel noise can be measured in terms of the error rate as the probability of the error then quantization error what is the meaning of the quantization error here your number of the pulses and in the number of the pulses we count from here here is the bit duration that is the ts 2ts minus ts again ts 3ts minus 2ts again ts means here is to be able to maintain the bit duration is a ts but in case of the quantization error uh, we want to get in whatever your amplitude of the samples would not able to approach it or it will be able to recover the original information bearing signal and if it if it is not recovered or it will not able to follow the information bearing signal then the error is generated then see here uh, here is pulse number one pulse number one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten there are the ten pulses out of that ten pulses uh, pulse number 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay these are these pulses would not able to follow the information bearing signal or analog signal then for that discrete samples the quantization error is generated this one sample will become out from the analog signal and one of the signal would not able to follow the information bearing signal and for that case the error is generated which is called as the quantization error then resolution and quantization error more number of the bits used to represent every samples lead to better resolution and less quantization error received signal will be very close to the transmitted signal then for this case we have seen the different examples here here uh, information bearing signal starting from 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 means here the information bearing signal should be follow the means this step size is able to follow the information bearing signal here is also the step size is follow the information bearing signal means your amplitude this will be able to come out or for this case there is a some error should be generated which is called as the slope overload or granular noise is a generated that part we seen in my next video then quantization error noise and uh, signal to noise ratio see the consider the membraneless quantizer and in case of the membraneless quantizer each sample is quantizer independently and that is the both uniform and systematic with the total length L represent the representation levels. Let X denotes the quantization input and Y denotes the quantizer output. Then uh, they are related by the transfer characteristics. 
of the quantizer then we want to getting the output y which is equal to q of x and x is the input then the representation levels is calculated to x max means maximum input to the step size delta means you have to be calculated the length which is equal to 2x max upon delta and delta is the step size then transfer characteristics for this cases just like this here is the representation level decision levels then this is the decision levels this is the representation levels then delta delta 2 minus delta by 2 means delta by 2 minus minus delta by 2 means 2 delta by 2 2 2 gets cancelled then transfer characteristics of the quantizer we want to get in here then this is the quantization levels okay here is the quantization levels different quantizer value should be given here then quantization noise and signal to noise ratio we have calculated here peak to peak exertion then quantization noise and signal to noise ratio the quantization noise is uniformly distributed throughout the signal band and it is interfering the effect signal is similar to that of the thermal noise then its probability density function of the quantization error is a given by there is a f q of q which is equal to 1 upon delta if your quantization or quantization is a greater than minus delta by 2 or less than delta by 2 it means here to maintain the step size otherwise it is 0 then here is the sigma q square which is equal to probability uh, we have to be calculated probability and uh, noise we calculated here then mean and variance the mean and variance is also calculated mean m and variance then mean of the quantization error is a zero and its variance is the same as the mean square value then we have find out its thermal noise the uniform distribution function fx which is equal to 1 upon d minus a and where x is a limited uh, which is greater than the a but less than the b means it is bounded in between the b to the a means this is the frequency range of the interest should be given then quantization noise and signal to noise ratio is given for that case mean and square value then we calculated the signal to noise ratio uh, there is a quantization noise and signal to noise ratio there is a smaller we make the step size and large will be the signal to noise ratio then signal to noise ratio should be given the mean square value there is a sigma x square upon sigma q square uh, there is a mean square value for the input signal and mean square value for quantized value and that will be given for sigma x square upon delta square upon 12 then equation about define the performance of the quantizing noise limited in the PCM system that uses the uniform quantizer then signal to quantization noise ratio is given there, there is a uniform symmetric and a mid trait type of the quantizer let the quantizer input x represent the sample value of the random variable x with the zero mean and its variance should be given sigma x square then let l is the representation level of the mid trait quantizer and it is to be calculated l which is equal to 1 plus 2x max upon l which is equal to l which is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1 therefore we calculated the step size the step size l which is equal to 2n minus 1 means the value of the l will be substitute here then what is the equation the equation begins here uh, 2 raised to n minus 1 which is equal to 1 plus 2x max upon 1 then our aim is to be calculated the step size then what we do uh, there is a 2 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 which is equal to 2x max upon 1 delta 
therefore here 2x max 2x max okay and here is the 2 raised to n minus 1 therefore x max which is equal to delta which is equal to here 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 minus 1 upon x max 2x max 2x max that will be given here then signal to quantization noise ratio uniform symmetric mid trade it will be given then signal to noise ratio of uniform quantizer with uh, sinusoidal modulating signal is a given here the number of representation level number of the bits per sample rate and signal to noise ratio here signal to noise ratio is calculated there is a 10 log to the base 10 of signal to noise ratio means there is a 1.8 plus 6r it's 1.8 plus 6r uh, we have calculated the signal to noise ratio in the decibel unit the limitations of the uniform quantizer uh, with the uniform quantizer the weak signal uh, would experience a 40 dB poor and signal to noise ratio that a strong signal then standard telephone technique of the handling the larger range of the possible input level uh, is the logarithmic compressor quantizer instead of the uniform one with such non-uniform comp compressor the output of signal to noise ratio is independent of the distribution of the input signal levels then uniform quantization and here is the non-uniform quantization then in case of the contact these are the number of the quantization levels then in case of the, the, this is the strong signal here is the strong signal is able to following it and here is the weak signal here is the weak signal then robust quantization the signal to noise ratio is decreases the decrease the input power level related to the overload point of the quantization then robust quantization uh, here is the speech signal actually it is not related for your undergraduation level but for more information you try to understand about that the robust quantization for the non-uniform quantization technique In case of the non-uniform quantization, it is done by the uniformly quantization, the compressed signal, uh, compressed plus expansion, which is called as the compounding. And compounding uh, compresses the signal at the input level and expansion of the signal at the output level, which is called as the compounding. At the receiver, it is the inverse compression characteristics called as the expansion and it is employed to avoid the signal distortion and compression and expansion you have want to making for transmitter side as well as on the receiver side which is called as the compounding from this figure we understand that we have to be compress the signal then quantize the signal then expand the signal then after the expansion your information bearing signal which is to be followed then there is a very low rate of the error then non-uniform quantization uh, basically here uh, non-uniform quantization there again a law and mu law then desired from the non-uniform quantization can be achieved by using the compressor uh, followed by uniform quantizer then input masses signal from that input masses signal here is a given to the compressor then output of the compressor is a given to the uniform quantizer and compressed signal that compressed signal is a given to the expander and uh, expander have expand the uniformly quantized version of the original masses signal here is the m of t which is to be able to obtain it here then in case of the robust quantization or non-uniform quantization your c of minus x output c of x which is equal to minus c of x and uh, this will be limited from x max to minus x max and its both values should be equal or one means c of x and c of minus 1 of x which is equal to 1 
is basically c of x upon c of x which is equal to 1. Then here is the signal to noise ratio mean square value should be given for the robust quantization. Then uh, basically the robust quantization is uh, divided into uh, two types that is two widely used solution for this problem for uh, robust quantization. There is a mu law compounding and a law compounding. Then what is the mu law compounding? In this the compressor characteristic c of x is the continuous or approximating a linear independent on the x for the low input levels and logarithmic one for high input level low input level and the logarithmic one of the high input level specifically described here and uh, basically it is the compression characteristics a law compounding and mu law compounding then in case of the mu law is uh, generally used for PCM telephone a PCM telephone means where the pulse code modulation technique is used and some countries is able to adopt the mu law compounding uh, suppose there is a united state canada japan uh, these countries is adopted for the mu law uh, because the value of the mu is the 255 and this will be normalized input and here is the normalized output these are the number of the step size this value of the mu which is equal to 0 mu which is equal to 5 is once the step size is going to be increases for the quantization purpose then value of this mu is again going to be increases then a law compounding the compressor characteristic c is the piecewise and made up a linear segment for low level input and the logarithmic segment for the high level input which is described here that is the c of x upon the x of max maximum input should be given and based upon this formula we have to be calculated the value of the c of x and to plot it once it will be plotted the mu law characteristics and a law characteristics the maximum value for the mu for 255 and this will be able to achieve there is a some countries there is a canada Japan, US, that will be adopted by all the Western countries should be adopted by this technology because it is very easy and according to the digital technology also uh, value of the digits should be varying from 0 to up to the 255. But another countries uh, apart from that US, Canada, Japan to use the A log compression technique the maximum value for a is the 87.6 then the, this is the uh, both uh, compression characteristics as well as the expansion characteristics versus the compounding technique here is the transmitter transmitter compression basically here is the transmitter compression here and here here is the compression and these are the expansion for the uh, receiver side and this is the linear characteristics means ideal characteristics then compression uniform quantization characteristics and non-uniform characteristics is here uh, a this figure is a shows there is a non-uniform quantizer characteristics means the step size should be varying this is the non-uniform characteristics and from here the step size is a constant means it is coming to the uniform quantization In compression and expansion this will be happen here is the compression In linear characteristics means there is a no any compression should be happen These are the some values should be given. There is a robust or non-uniform quantization. All my dear students, I hope that all of you understand the what is the meaning of the quantization. Basically, I have to be summarized here. The quantization 
is basically divided into the two types uniform quantization non uniform quantization Ag again it will be divided uniform quantization is a divided into mid trade mid rise non uniform quantization is a law compounding and u law compounding i hope that or you enjoying my discussion if any doubts any query please you write on my comment page and please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on my bell icon thank you